Emmanuel checks his pulse for eight minutes and counts 624 beats. We want to determine his heart rate per minute, per hour, and per second. So we're given a rate and asked to find several unit rates. Notice how the given rate would be 624 beats per eight minutes, which we can write in fraction form. 624 beats per would be the fraction bar, eight minutes. Notice for this first rate, the units are correct. We're comparing beats to minutes. But for the rate per minute, we want the denominator to be one minute, not eight minutes. And since a fraction bar represents division, if we find this quotient, we can find the number of beats per minute. So 624 divided by eight. There are seven eights in 62. Seven times eight is 56. Subtract, that's six. Bring down the four. There are eight eights in 64. Eight times eight is 64, so we subtract. The remainder is zero. So this means that the heart rate per minute is equal to 78 beats per one minute, which can also be written as just 78 beats per minute. Next, we want his heart rate per hour. So we can use either of these two rates here. Let's go ahead and use the unit rate or the beats per minute. So we're going to start with 78 beats per minute and write this as a rate per hour. There's a couple ways of doing this. If we know there are 60 minutes in one hour, we can just multiply 78 by 60 to determine the heart rate per hour. But mathematically, we can also multiply by what's called a unit fraction or a fraction that's equal to one that will change the units. And because we don't want minutes in our rate, we would have minutes in the numerator and hour or hours in the denominator. And because this fraction must equal one, we would use 60 minutes in the numerator and one hour in the denominator. Notice in this form, the units of minutes simplifies out, leaving us with a rate of beats per hour. Notice how our denominator is already one hour, the numerator would be 78 times 60 beats. So 78 times 60, put a zero in the ones place value, and now multiply by six. Six times eight is 48, carry the four. Six times seven is 42, plus four is 46. So we have 4,680 beats per one hour, or we can write this as 4,680 beats per hour. And then finally, we want to find the rate per second. So we can start with any rate. Let's go ahead and start with this rate here of 78 beats per one minute. So if we start with 78 beats per one minute, we want to convert this to beats per second. And because there are 60 seconds in one minute, we could divide 78 by 60 to determine the rate per second, or using the unit fraction, because we don't want minutes in our answer, we would have minutes in the numerator, seconds in the denominator, and then because this fraction must equal one, we would have one minute in the numerator and 60 seconds in the denominator. Again, notice how minutes simplifies out leaving us with beats per second. But notice how here we would have a quotient of 78 beats per 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and find this quotient on the calculator. 78 divided by 60 and we have 1.3 which means the unit rate would be 1.3 beats per second or beats per one second, which again we can write as 1.3 beats per second. Either form is acceptable, but normally we see it written in this form here. I hope you found this helpful.